on with this frog spawn? It's not doing well. Yeah, but why? Guys, why is this frog spawn dying? Do you know why? No, look at this. It's coming off the skeleton. What do we call that? Paul bailout. Paul bailout. Okay, so what is Paul bailout? What is it? Uh, what would the you coral's say? under stress, so it decides to... Coral's under stress and it's... Skeleton. Yeah, this is like the last ditch attempt. There's no saving it, right? Nope, she's done. Yeah, I've never seen one do this and then survive. Possible. Could yeah, be, yeah. So the clowns are hosting it quite a bit. That could do it, but there's a lot of frog spawn to host. This guy's kind of funny. He's actually decided to host this Monty, which is kind of cool. Clowns aren't the brightest, so they just want to host anything really. So why did it happen? Uh, could be for a number of reasons. I'm going to look at salt. I'm going to look at magnesium. Those are going to be the first two Alk. culprits, Alk, yeah, alkalinity for sure, start testing the water. It could just be that the corals are bunched too close together. And if you go back and watch the other video I did on um, how to keep torch corals, I mentioned that euphilia are usually safe together and the tentacles can sweep and touch, but you don't want the skeletons to touch. So it could have been that they were just too close and grew into each other. Water's 2.7. Oh, okay. So that's good to know. Our water is a little bit too salty. You're running 1.027. So that could be that could do it right there. A lot of times when stuff dies, we start testing water and then we just have our best guess scenario. So we make um, an assumption or a hypothesis or whatever, but we don't truly know why the coral died. We can't talk to it. We're just guessing. So best guess right now, salt was too high. It stressed the coral out. Could be magnesium, that's the next thing I'm going to look at. But polyp bailout, when it does happen, usually, unfortunately, it's kind of a last ditch effort. That coral is under extreme, extreme stress. I've never seen anyone manage to, like you can actually collect the, um, the top, the, the polyps, and, and it'll live sort of like free floating for a week or two, but I've never seen it regrow a skeleton. So, like I said early on in the videos, I kind of want to showcase the good and the bad. It's not always... Um, so fun, there's up and downs to the hobby, and yeah, I, I think probably, I don't know, I think they're too close bunched together. What do you think, Dylan? I don't think so. You don't think that's it, huh? Matt, what do you think? It's probably over-hosting. Over-hosting, so yeah, the Dylan thinks it's salt. Uh, I think that they were too... Dylan thinks that it's something in the water that's off. I think the um, they were just too close to each other, and maybe uh, stung each other on skeletons, and Matt thinks that it's what we call over hosting when a fish just hosts the hell out of a coral and doesn't give it a chance to open so it could be one of those three a combination of factors maybe hosting tied together with higher salinity with touching um, maybe we're all right maybe we're all wrong maybe those are none of the options but yeah just a quick video showcasing um, not showcasing sorry showing Paula bailout not fun beautiful coral lost yeah, I wish I had more to tell you, something more useful, how to avoid it. It's just part of the hobby. Not every coral that we try and keep is going to survive, and it's unfortunate. And uh, yeah, I'll do another video, or I'll comment below when we think we figured out exactly what happened. But that is our short and maybe kind of depressing video for the day. Thanks for watching, and I'll try and make the next one a little more upbeat. I just want to show you that stuff doesn't always go exactly as planned. And even for us, I think we've, you know, uh, the experience of everyone here working in the store, if it's combined, we're, we're around 30, 40 years combined um, reef keeping experience. And sometimes, uh, yeah, it just doesn't go as planned. But that's the video for today. And if you got any questions about all of bailout, keeping frog spawns, torches, hammers, all that stuff, I'll always put the uh, contact info at the end of the video. Thanks for watching, guys.